So let's sing at least one song. Turn to page six. Who can help me with this song? Or my voice goes completely. Ready? Me a malel burot Israel v'tavi imet ein bechodayakum ani boro el hasma. Me malel burot Israel v'tavi imet ein bechodayakum ani boro el hasma. in this song? The Gibor, Giborot, the, the second part of the... Uh, ah, so the fact the use of Gibor reminds you of Al HaMilchamod Val HaGivorot. What else? Good. Goel, a redeemer. Goel is certainly a religious term, right? Absolutely. But something even more directly a relationship to a famous... Well, Shema, yes. Shema Yisrael, right? Well, you listen, done. Israel. Here we have Shema Yisrael. Good. <laughs> Absolutely. And the next line? From the bracha. From the bracha. Bayamima hem bazman hazen. Now, the, pe- the, the bracha itself already has in it, in its language, the fact that this was not a one-time event. These miracles will happen again and again. Okay? And what else do you see? Moshe. Moshe is again like Goel. Look at the first line. Well, what is Israel? Mi Yamalel Gvurot. What's the original? Look at the bottom of the page. Wow. The original one is straight from Tili. Mi Yamalel Gvurot Adonai Yashmiya Shma Kol Tehilato Vayoshien. That's how you get your Moshiel Yishmo Lehodia Et Gvurato. He just, it's a ripoff. But it's much more than a ripple. It is a total secularization in which God is knocked out and Israel comes instead. It's truly a messianic dream that all the Jewish people will unite. That's the most messianic part of this whole thing. Yitached yakum v'yigayel, that the people as a whole will all unite and redeem themselves. Right? So, what? who are the secular Zionists fighting against? Who are their enemies in the Jewish civil, cultural civil war? Hmm? One is religious. What kind of religious? Hmm? Anti-Zion. Well, but that religious in two senses. First of all, the Orthodox. The Talmudists versus the Biblical. Hmm? The Talmud is like the image they always told us about. The, the, the Talmud was the ben was, Gordon, was, yes. ba- was the ba- was in Babylon in exile, but the Bible was when we were strong and we had the life. Definitely the case. But here, let's look at it more explicitly. It's the Orthodox religious people and the Reform. Those are the two people secular Zionism is fighting against. Against the Orthodox, they're not talking about ultra-Orthodox Haredi. Almost all of the Ashkenazi religious community was anti-Zionist. You had a few people like Shmuel Moylever who was a religious Zionist. It's definitely a minority. I'll give you an example of it. My wife was from Holland. My last name is Zion, a good Zionist name. Her grandfather, who she was named after, Manuel, was supposed to be a very unpleasant person. However, in 1907, when the Zionist Congress was held in The Hague, he went from a Berchen, and there's a whole story of how he got there from my little town. It took him a day and a half to get there, part of it by horse, part of it walking, part of it by train, and he took part in the Zionist Congress as a spectator. He went home to his local community. This is in Holland. It's not in a Polish Hasidic community, and they were celebrating Hanukkah with a dinner dance, which they always did with the whole community. And he was told, persona non grata, you went to the Zionist Congress, you're not allowed to come. Right? So the, they really did have a battle against the Haredi. The, the, the Orthodox did not move to Israel until the Shoah, and because of the Shoah, just as they didn't move to America until the Shoah and after the Shoah, 
because they thought Eastern Europe was the place to be. They weren't trying to solve the Jewish problem by moving to a new place. That's on one side. Also against Yitzhak Breuer, we have a quotation a little bit later, the same thing, the head of the altar of the modern Orthodox in Germany, Schimpfer Karl Hirsch's people, same anti-Zionist point of view. But what about the reform anti-Zionists? Who are they? Pittsburgh platform. In America and in Germany, Hermann Cohen, right? Who was a great Jewish philosopher, a great philosopher and a great Jewish philosopher. And he said, oh, he's, he's totally anti-Zionist. He says, you know what? The Zionists want to be happy. That's what's wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> now you try to sell that Judaism to your congregation. <laughs> Pursuit of happiness is the most important in the alien. No, they want to be happy, those Zionists. So, and of course, Franz Rosenzweig as well, but he wasn't part of he wasn't a, part of the liberal movement. And of course, in America, one of the things I have here is a terrific text from Mordechai Kaplan, written about um, written against a congregation of Reformed Jews in Texas, who who, re, who refused to who said explicitly in their bylaws. Nobody can be a member of our synagogue if they are either keep kosher or they're Zionists. <laughs> and so he writes in his thing about now we can see the real Hellenist Jews, Jason and Menelaus, living there in Texas, probably part of the Council of Judaism. Of course, there were many Reform rabbis who were the leaders of Zionism, but they're fighting a dual battle against those who say that Judaism is only a religion and those people who say that it's a religion, you know, the Orthodox, and it should not be turned into a national secular movement of self-redemption. 